4.30, arrest made. A man charged with murder facing a judge today accused of killing his neighbor. 69-year-old Lori Belsham was found dead inside an apartment in Margate just a few doors down from her own. And now we're learning more about her from those who knew her best. Local 10's Leanne Mordehong is live with the exclusive details from the victim's son and roommate, Leanne. That's right, I spoke to the victim's son through Zoom today. He is out of state. I also spoke with her roommate who knew her for five decades back when they lived together in New York. In fact, he told me that she had been over at the apartment where she was killed just two weeks ago to watch a movie with the guy. Now he's accused of her murder. They told me she was dead, that she passed away. Joseph Mazzitti remembers his longtime friend, Lori Belsham. I've known Lori for over 50 years. The two were roommates for the last two years until Saturday night when police say she was killed by 48 year old Evan Rosenthal, a man Mazzitti says was a neighbor and someone she considered a close friend. He, he was a nice guy until he wasn't a nice guy. And now poor Lori's dead. Mazzitti says Saturday started off normally. And she said she could go over to a friend Evans across the way. Six o'clock, she went over there. About 8, 8, 830, I came out to get some water. I looked out the window and there was all these cops cars. Margate police says someone called them to Rosenthal's second floor unit at the Viewpoint condo Saturday night and that they found him there as well as Belsham's body. Police have not confirmed how Rosenthal allegedly killed her, but Belsham's son Keith says he was told she died from a blow to the head. I don't know what could have happened that caused him to want to hit her so hard that, or hit her at all. He beat her. He beat the hell out of her. Rosenthal appeared in bond court Monday morning. No harm. Belsham's son now left mourning the loss of his mom. She was just a very likable, lovable person. She, you know, would always help anybody, even though I think she's the one that probably could have used help a lot of the time. So right now they are trying to raise money not only to bring Belsham's body back to her native New York, but also to bring her beloved Chihuahua Taco over so that they can now take care of him. Of course, now that the arrest has been made, you heard there he's being held without bond. His public defender in court asked that he undergo a mental health evaluation. Reporting live in Margate, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Oh, such a tragic story there, Leanne.